Hello guys, today we will try this game from W3 Schools. It's the cold game. This is the name, this is the address. And the idea is that you help this, uh, I don't know what this is, a cat, a lynx. It says it's lynx. Uh, to reach the, the pine cone. So the idea is that you give it uh, a program, you code it basically, and it reaches the, the goal. So click the blue arrow to insert the code panel, click the play button to execute the commands. So this one is pretty easy, but as you go late, um, as you go to higher levels, it gets harder and the nice thing about it is uh, it, it actually has to do with coding. It's, it's uh, a bit hard to understand at first, but let me, let me show you. So this one is easy. You just click two arrows and it will to move to two tiles and get the goal. Yes. So next one is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four arrows it's easy next level is so for example if you do four it will it will not work because the last one has to be on the goal so here we have one two three like this so here you have one two then you must rotate to the left and then one two so one two rotate one two okay level five it's one two rotate to the right one two this one is easy as well so this one is one two rotate one two rotate one Two. So one, two, rotate, one, two, rotate, one, two. So one, two, rotate, one, two, rotate. So one, two, to the left, one, two, then to the right, one, two. So this one is, uh, we c you can do it as you wish, but I think the easiest way is one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, two. To reach this tile here and then turn left and one, two. So turn left and one, two. It's, it's starting to sound like dance lessons. So here we have to go to the tree, then turn left, then turn, uh, so left, turn left, move one, turn right. Mm, so yeah, so basically let's, let's start. Here it, it starts to get uh, more complicated, but you have uh, many, you, you can try as, as many times as you want. So it's kind of easy so one two three okay so three then we need to rotate i'll try to get it done on the first try so then rotate to the left then move one tile so we are here between the trees and then we need to rotate to the right to turn in this direction and move one tile so we are here now and now we need to rotate to the left to face the pine cone and then move forward let's see if i got it right yes bravo so this one uh you have to use the paw to basically open the chest so one, two, three. So one, two, three. 
and open the chest. Yes. So next one. Um, so you see how this game is, you, you give instructions. So basically one, two, one, two, we're here. Then we turn left, one, two, and then we open the chest. Nice. So here we have to move one forward and then turn left to face the chest and then one, two to move to the chest and one to open it. Okay. Uh, here I at first thought that uh, we have to turn around. So basically turn 90 degrees twice and then use the paw but it doesn't work because you have to face the the side of the chest the face of the chest basically so uh you have to turn around and the easiest way to turn to get out of here and go around to face it is turn right and then move one to get on this tile and then we're facing uh, this tile, so turn right again, and then one, two, so one, two, we're here now, we're facing in this direction, so we need to turn right again, and move, and then right again to face the chest, and then try to open it, let's see how it goes. Okay, okay, nice. So here here it gets uh, tricky. So it's one forward, then left, then right, then forward. So one forward, left, uh, so left, then forward, then right, then forward, left. I can just try to see how it goes. Mm, okay, so here it bugged. So basically it reaches this one and it's like, uh, okay, turn right and go one. So turn right, so basically turn right in in this direction so in this direction and move one so we are here now and now we need to turn left and go one forward so turn left to face the chest go one forward to, to get on this tile and then try to open it let's see let's see if it works Okay, it worked. Nice. So this one is uh, one forward, then uh, turn right, then move forward and turn left. So we are here facing this tile. So move on this tile, then turn right. Turn right. So to face this tile, move on it, then turn left to face this tile and move forward after you are on it then turn right one forward and let's see okay cool oh, so uh, here we're going to get the key a key yes get the key by just stepping on it we don't need to do anything and it's just three steps and open the chest so on this one we have to step on the key first and then go to the chest so it's one two uh, three so we're here turn left then step on the key then turn right and try it again. So we 
we're facing this tile, we're here on the key, we're facing this tile, we need to turn once to face this one and once to face this one. So then move on this on this tile and then turn left so we can go on this one. So turn left so we can go on this one and then open the chest. Cool. So this one is, yeah, you know what we have to do. We have to go for the key and the key to, to this level is uh, to do it with as little movement as possible because you have limited boxes here. It, it applies to all levels, but yeah. So this one is turn right then move forward two, so we're here. We need to turn left to face the key, then move one to get on the key, two to get here on this one, and then turn left to go in this direction. So one, two, one, two, and then turn right. So turn right, so we're here facing the chest. So one, two, one, two, and then open the chest. Cool. Ah, can you finish in just 11 steps? So here again it's it's about doing as as, lit, as, uh, as few steps as possible. So it's one, two forward. So we're here. Turn right. Get the key. So we're here turn around, so turn around on the key tile, then move back here, and then we're facing this green, green tile, so we need to turn right, so we're facing the chest now, and move two, and then the paw, and it should work. So this one is, yeah, turn around, it's telling us, so turn around, get the key, uh, turn around, and one, two, three, so, and open the chest. Ta-da! So this one is, turn, go two tiles, so one, two, then turn left, and one, two, three, so one, two, three, we are on the key and we must turn around, so two, two turns by 90 degrees, and then one, two, three, so one, two, three, and then uh, we are facing this green tile, we are here, we are facing this green tile, so we need to turn right, then move one tile, so we are here, then turn left to face in this direction, then one, two, so one, two, we are in front of the chest now, we need to turn around, so left, and then pull to open it. So yeah, nice. So, um, this one is uh, hmm, five steps to the cone, but only four swords available. If only I could do a whoop. So, here the idea is that you have only four swords. So, if you do it, it, it won't work. So, yeah. And by clicking them, you can remove them. So, you can paste the whoop here. Uh, the whoop here so put an arrow and then you can do as as many as you want and what we need here is one two three four five so one two three four five of those yes and we are done so here it's about repeat again so you can try to um, so first let's say uh, rotate so turn right and then do 
two of those and then turn right and do two of those but you only get here so it tells you you must put everything in a loop and this pattern actually shows you the loop so basically it's turn right and then two times forward because you can turn right one two turn right one two turn right one two so it's turn right one two and you need to do it once twice three times so let's let's see how it goes yes it worked so you see how they are introducing loops i i think it would be very well quite not intuitive for someone who uh, who don't, doesn't have experience with programming because well whoops i'm not sure i i think you have to explain them better before you uh you make some someone use them but yeah anyway so this one is turn so it's turn right move one turn so we're facing this one we're here so turn left and then move one turn right so let's see if we can do it in one so this one is turn right move one turn left move one and see how far we go okay so three times cool so this one is a bit weird because you can Mm. I'm not sure if okay I can move it here so if I can no oh I can clear it from here so uh, this one I solved by going this way three times and then this way three times so it's basically I, I I was thinking about going zigzag, but it didn't work well. So this one is turn left, go three, and then turn left again and go three. So left one two three, left one two three. So this should work. Yay! To add a ball after the loop, the loop must be in inactive. Click inside the loop to make it active inactive. So basically we need this, we need this, we need it one, two, three, four, five times. And then we need to make the loop inactive, add the ball, make it active and one, two, three, four, five, ball yes so this one is mm, i think it's about so first we need to turn around so it's like two of those and then we need to go three in this direction so one two, three then we need to turn around and then we need to go so we are here basically so First we, we turn around, one, two, three, we're here, and then turn around, one, two, three, in the opposite direction, and then open it. So, but here we don't have space for three hours, arrows, but uh, it's easy to see the pattern, so we need to put the pattern in, in a loop, so this one, one, two, one, two, three two times and then we will return to this tile so and then we can I think we can put the ball yes let's see one two three 
One, two, three, open, yes. Good job, good job. So we are back on level one and we we basically complete the game. Congratulations.